Hey everyone, I'm Candace Moore, the city's first chief equity officer. And I'm so excited to share a new initiative that my office, the Office of Equity and Racial Justice is launching called the Year of Healing. For the Year of Healing, for the next 12 months, we're gonna focus on three core pillars. The first, reflecting on our past. The second, reclaiming our present. And the third, reimagining our future. So for our first project, we're focusing on the first pillar, reflecting on our past, which calls on us to remember the harms and the resilience of our shared history. And to do this, we have a very special partner. Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Dilla, I'm your favorite neighborhood historian. I'm very honored that Candace and the city of Chicago chose me to be a part of this project. You know, Chicago is my favorite thing on earth, but the thing that makes Chicago great it's just people. You can kind of break Chicago down into maybe a few racial and ethnic demographic groups. And so we'll be showing how those groups make the city what they are. As a matter of fact, Candace, can you tell them a little bit more about the project? Sure. So the project is called We Built Chicago, and it's a series of videos where you're going to walk us through the important history that we should all remember about different racial and ethnic groups that have contributed to the spaces and places that we love. So we're going to focus on five of Chicago's most prominent racial groups, Native American, Black, White, Asian, and Latinx. Telling these stories is important for all Chicagoans to hear because we are creators, we are builders, we are resilient. So we're here at the Chicago Architecture Center and as we're sitting right in front of this model of the city that was really built off of the Burnham Plan. And as you and I have been talking, I've been really thinking about three things. One, these buildings that the city has are incredible. What's almost more incredible is the stories behind who built them and why they were built. The second is that just think about how the way the city is set up impacts our daily lives. It's how we move around the city, how we build community with one another. We're still building, right? The city right now is undergoing a three-year planning initiative called We Will Chicago, um, and it's the first since 1966. Wow. But what I love about it is it's our opportunity to build where the city's gonna grow together. And, you know, as we've been working on this project, it's just so important that if we're going to reimagine our future, if we're going to build into our future, we've got to be reflecting on our past. And speaking of the past, it's important to note that our history is all around us. We kind of think of this past as this far away thing, but our history is right by us every day. Right behind you is a model of the first building designed by an African-American downtown. It was built for John H. Johnson's Ebony and Jet headquarters. I also love the fact that we have a building downtown, the Aqua building, that's designed by a prolific woman architect. And then, you know, just looking at Chicago and how it expanded, right? How at one point Roosevelt was our border, and now look at all that it is today. So clearly you can do this all day, but maybe let's save a little bit for later. Uh, how about you tell everyone where we, they can catch the full We Built Chicago project? Absolutely. You can catch me on Twitter and TikTok at sixfigure underscore Dilla. The number six, F-I-G-G-A underscore D-I-L-L-A. You'll also be able to find this amazing content on the mayor's Twitter and Instagram page. And if you aren't following her already, follow the mayor on her Instagram and Twitter. And do me a favor, also follow me on Twitter at Shy Equity Chief. Join, Join us in, in our, our year of healing. healing.